reflection for Sunday, May 29, 2022. The ascension of Jesus the Christ into heaven and the seventh Sunday of Easter. Why does the church celebrate this feast of the ascension? What meaning does it have in my life and in your life and the life of the church, the Christian community? This feast as related to us in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and the Acts of the Apostles records one of Jesus' last discourses and the teachings for his disciples. Jesus gives his disciples their job description and he sends them on their way, knowing that very soon they will be anointed and blessed by the Holy Spirit. Jesus tells them, quote, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you." Unquote. They are to tell and retell the story of Jesus' life, suffering, death, and resurrection. He assured them that he would be with them and that they would not be alone. They would have power and wisdom of the Holy Spirit in carrying out his mission. He instructed them to baptize all believers. In the earliest Christian community and for some time, Baptism was administered in the name of Jesus. It is only in the passage of Matthew and the Didache, a Christian writing probably dating back to the end of the first century, that we hear of the threefold formula for baptism, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A distinctive feature of this Feast of the Ascension in the Western churches is the extinguishing of the Paschal candle, first lit on Easter. It's extinguished after the Gospel has been read, as, as a symbol of Christ leaving the earth. Despite the idea of separation and absence of Jesus that is indicated in this act, the whole liturgy of the Ascension Tide, through to the ten days before to ten days to Pentecost is marked by the joy and the final triumph of the risen Christ. <clears throat> Before Jesus' departure in his earthly presence, he commissioned his followers saying, go and teach all nations. I am with you always until the end of the world. Jesus confers upon the disciples participation and sharing in his divine life. As followers of Jesus, each of us and all who are members of Christ, members of his body, the church, participate in this life of God. We experience and live in the divine life through the Christian community, our participation in the sacraments, and living in the word of God on our lives. In other words, Jesus was lifted into heaven so that we might be eternal, it be an eternal communion with Christ and one another forever. The ascension in Christian belief is the ascent of Jesus Christ into heaven on the 40th day of his resurrection. The feast of the ascension ranks with Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost in the universality of, of its observance among Christians. The feast has been celebrated after Easter in both the Eastern and Western Christianity since the 4th century. Before that time, the Ascension was commemorated as part of the celebration of the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Jesus ascends to heaven, 
The disciples were filled with great joy after experiencing this holy act of the ascension of Jesus Christ our Lord. Instead of being sad and in despair, the disciples returned to Jerusalem as very happy people. The ascension of Jesus gave them great comfort and joy. They now awaited the promise and the powers, the strength and creativity of the Holy Spirit as promised by Jesus the Christ. They awaited the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the community of believers. Today, when some of our leaders die, retire, or go to jail, their influence and impact dies away. This is because they do not leave behind an advocate nor followers to carry out their mission or vision. Jesus had a plan and a vision for his disciples. We are not left to be orphans or drifters, but we are to live in the power and the gifts of the Holy Spirit that we have received from our lavishly loving God. Jesus' mission was well communicated, and the Holy Spirit is our helper, our advocate, who now continues to give us the courage and the strength to proclaim the good news. The ascension of Jesus marked the coming of the Holy Spirit. We are to be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit as we endeavor to spread the Word of God to all people and all nations. We celebrate this feast in anticipation of our own resurrection, living eternally in the heart and the community of God. The essence and challenge of this feast is to call us again and again to be witnesses to the gospel and to be proclaimers and evangelists by our lives. Let us continue to be women and men of the words of the gospel, deepening our love of Jesus and the risen Christ, who is present and active in our lives. Amen.